Congressional Republicans are pivoting to tax reform as they continue their legislative agenda, which began with the repeal of Obamacare. One America's John Hines has that story from Washington. A Trump tax plan is on its way. Congress will approve much of it, and as a result, most families' taxes will likely go down, says Grover Norquist, president of Americans for Tax Reform. The consensus that they're working from is that business tax rates will come down from 25, 35% down to 15%. Right now, we tax our big companies at 35 and smaller companies, actually, that pay through the individual rate as high as 45%. Both of those will come down to 15 or 20. We speed up depreciation schedules, so it drops the cost of new business investment, getting rid of the death tax, getting rid of the alternative minimum tax. So the Trump tax plan is designed to spur business investment and thus jobs. But what may have been lost in the noise of debate is the Trump plan is very much pro-family, doubling the exemption, says Norquist. There are seven tax brackets at the, now at the federal level. Um, for the personal income tax. That'll go down to three. All seven are reduced. And so middle income taxpayers will have a lower rate and a higher personal exemption or family exemption and simplification. For 95% plus of the country, you will be able to do your taxes on a postcard. So the Trump tax plan will make it simple enough for most families to do their taxes on a postcard, says Norquist, who meets regularly with the White House tax planners. A big question, though, will taxes go the way of health care, which is to say nowhere? To that, Norquist says the tax package will get done. Uh, the problems with health care didn't start with Obamacare. He made things worse. But there are all these other challenges. So they were trying to fix 60 years of accumulated too much government and health care at one time. All Americans will be seeing lower taxes uh, and this is an extremely powerful um, broad-based level of support that didn't exist on health care because there were some people getting rich off of Obamacare. Tax reform uh, I think will be widely supported even by liberal Democrats who say, oh I hate these tax cuts, but they won't turn down the tax cut. They'll take it. Norquist says we should expect to see some kind of tax package announced by the White House and Congress in late September, with a final tax package approved by the Congress by Thanksgiving. John Hines, What American News, Washington.